All right, hey, what's up guys? It's Roy here, and I have the Subcase Unicorn Beetle case here for the iPhone SE. Now, this is the iPhone SE Generation 3, but it will fit the iPhone 7 and 8 as well. This case is gonna come in at $18.99 on Amazon with Prime Shipping. If you do wanna buy this case for any of your iPhone 7, 8, or SE, do follow my affiliate links down in the description. Now, Subcase was kind enough to send this case out for review, so big thank you to them. So let's take a real quick peek here at the box. So the box looks just like any Subcase box that I've gotten lately. Has the pattern there with the Subcase logo, Unicorn Beetle, obviously it says drop protection, so military standard drop protection. You have this really cool holographic sticker on there. And then on the back, there it is. It does say Subcase Unicorn Beetle, and this is the red black as you can see. So let's get this bad boy out. So pretty simple um, unboxing here. So I'm gonna just peel that off. Uh, so there's a little card there that says, thank you for your support. And then uh, there's some support email and even a phone number as well, which I'll kind of put it there if you wanna screenshot that. And then let's see, then a QR code and some stuff about their social media stuff. And here is the main attraction. So this is the red black, like I said, and uh, looks pretty dang good. Let's go ahead and get the little plastic wrap off. So let's start with the back. There we go. And the inside. Voila. So on this case on the inside, you can see those reinforced corners there that's gonna help with drop protection for sure. So it's gonna help dissipate the energy away from your phone in the event of a drop. Very crystal clear back. So let's grab the product red version here and slap it on. So we'll just start with the corner, pop in, and extremely simple install there. So there it is. Let me go ahead and wipe that corner down real quick and voila so product red with this red looks pretty cool the reds don't exactly match up but it kind of gives it that cool little two-tone look uh the back is extremely crystal clear there is no dots or anything like their edge case to help with the anti-clinging but as you can see i don't see any watermarks or anything yet um, there's the cutout for the camera bump so it's a part of the actual back so there's no lip or anything specifically but obviously they're recessed in there so that camera lens and flash are going to be protected and then there's kind of the look of how it looks there got the subcase branding here at the bottom so kind of cool look there kind of flat edges somewhat a little bit so voila so now let's look at the side here so as far as the side goes uh, they decided to go with more of that flat button style so it's a very seamless look, but obviously you got that little logo there to let you know it's the power button. And then going down to the bottom, you can see that we have a generous cutout for the lightning port and our speakers. And then going to this side here, obviously we have our flat volume up and down buttons that are highlighted with a plus and minus sign and then a cutout for our light or our alert slider there, excuse me. And then nothing at the top. Looking at it from the front, Definitely some raised lips around the front to help with screen protection. That's kind of the look here. So very, very simple look at the front. Very nice matte black color there. So let's go ahead and do the wobble test here. So let's do face down first. No shake at all. Back down. No shake at all. So very flat. Now let's do our power button and volume up and down uh, clicky button test. Let's start with that power button first. and volume up and down. All right, the buttons are extremely tactile. My only um, issue is that they aren't raised, so I can't find them super easy. Um, so that's my only knock really so far. Uh, I wish they were a little raised somewhat, but they're not. Um, next, alert slider. Let's see how easy it is to get to that. Oh yeah, super, super easy to get to. No issues at all. Easy peasy. And last but not least, our Qi wireless charging test. So let's slap that on 
And as you can tell, it is instantly recognizing it is on a Qi wireless charger. So definitely no issues with wireless charging. Obviously there is no MagSafe magnet in this case or this phone. So you are going to be able to use the MagSafe charger on a desk, but it's only gonna act as a Qi wireless charger, not an actual MagSafe like magnetizing to the back kind of thing. But uh, there we have it guys, very slim, feels good in the hand. The grip is good on the sides. The back, since it's clear, has that nice grip, so it's anti-fingerprint, but not anti-smudging, as you can see there, so you're definitely gonna wanna wipe it down, but uh, looks really good. So hit that like button if you like the video. If you love it, please subscribe, and ring that notification bell for up-to-date content, so be safe. God bless, see you on the next one.